So today I'm going to be um, interviewing Edward Kasabin. Hello. Uh, was that all right? That was great. Great. <laughs> uh, so, what did you want to discuss for your documentary project? Did you have any questions prepared that you'd like me to answer? Or? Yeah, I, I thought we could um, start with talking about how we met, and then I'd ask you some questions about your work. That sounds excellent. Okay, great. Um, so Edward and I met at the end of last year, at the end of spring semester. Yes, at the conference on Leibniz. Yes, Edward gave an amazing lecture on interconnections. Yes, uh, the key to all monodologies, uh, which I have turned into a forthcoming article and hope to incorporate into my dissertation. I, that's so cool, I didn't know you were getting it published. Yes, well, I am doing that. Anyway, uh, Dorothea came up to me after the talk to ask a few questions about the material. I'm so sorry if that was awkward. I normally don't go up to speakers <laughs> at these things. It was, I was nervous. Uh, it wasn't awkward at all. So then Edward and I got to talking and um, he actually gave me his email address so we could um, continue the discussion. You never did email me though. Well, I was embarrassed. I thought it would be weird. It wouldn't have been weird. Anyways, when I was making this documentary, I was trying to think of interesting people that I could interview, and I remembered that I still had your email address. So, here we are. Yep. Here we are. <laughs> so, do you want to officially introduce yourself and your work? Well, yes, of course. Um, my name is Edward Kasabin, and Though I'm only 25 years old, I am here at Loic for a two-year term as a college fellow to teach a few seminars and to continue working on my dissertation, uh, Being and World, Transcendental Otherness and Identity. It is quite an ambitious project. Uh, I am reanimating the Heideggerian design by interrogating its relationship with Leibniz's see in my examination of the works of Kant. Uh, I, although, if you follow the line of reasoning advanced by Brentano, you could argue that is a questionable application of Leibniz's monodology, which... So, in conclusion, I propose that several questions remain as to the... Is your roommate all right? Yeah, yeah, she's fine. Um, actually, Dorothea, um, now that we're alone, there is something I had wanted to talk to you about. Really? Yes. What is it? Um, I'm not sure exactly how to put this. Um, you see, fulfilling as it is, the life of an academic can sometimes get a little tiring. I hardly interact with anyone at low it close to my own age, and as a result, I sometimes feel a little more alone than I would like. You know what I mean? Yes, of course. Actually, I also... And I sometimes wish that I could spend time with someone... that I could spend time with someone cheerful and sympathetic. Someone who understood my work and why it's important. Um, I, I know that it would be a lot to ask of you. You're very busy with your documentary, but... But... I, I was wondering if you had any free time, if maybe you would like to, I don't know, to... Uh... To... Hey, I'm heading out. Hi, Celia. Oh, did I interrupt your interview thing? No. I'm so sorry. It's, no, it's fine. Everything it's totally fine. is fine. Um, I should actually probably get going too. Um, you still have my email address? Yes. <sighs> Wonderful. Um, well then, I guess it's goodbye. Goodbye. Um, goodbye, everyone. Um, oh, um, I'm very sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> um, um, goodbye, Celia. It was goodbye. Nice meeting you. Nice to um, meet you too. I'll just hit the door. Mm -hmm. um, Oh. oh, the it's the top one. Oh, um, uh, the, yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. Great. Um, thank you very much. Um, Bye. Bye.
so I have a lot of work to do. Um, so I'm heading out, but uh, call me if you need anything. Okay, see you. Bye. Bye. Okay, so this is really very strange to talk about to a camera, but did what I just think happened happen? I mean, we're talking about the Edward Kasabin, brilliant grad student who I couldn't even email because I was too embarrassed. And I think he maybe just tried to ask me out on a date. I mean, normally I think I'm reading too much into these things, which I totally have a habit of doing. Like last year, there were so many people that I thought maybe liked me and especially girls who I cannot read. And it ended up just not being that, but maybe I don't know, this feels kind of different. And it would be so cool to date a grad student. I mean, with Celia, when I talk about philosophy stuff, she is bored and she doesn't want to listen to me, which I get, but with Edward, that's like literally how we met. All right. This might sound silly, but I just feel like if we were together, I could spend my time doing things like above the ordinary college experience. Like while everyone else is drinking at parties or falling in unrequited love with their best friends, I could sit on the couch and talk about like, what makes life worth living? And it's not, it's not like that's any better than the ordinary college experience and I know that makes people happy, I just feel like maybe there's more. I mean, I know I'm probably getting ahead of myself, but Celia, you don't have to knock. <laughs> Hey.